Hey you guys, so I am here to do a style slash tutorial slash comparison video of the Lotta Body Mousses. Now we have the original formula with coconut and shea oils. This is the Wrap Me Foaming Mousse and we are going to be comparing her to, yeah, I, I refer to my products as her. Um, so let's jump right into some, you know, differences, what they both state. For the coconut and shea oils, it says Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. This says refine me curl defining moves. In my opinion, that's, that's basically the same thing. I'm just gonna be honest. To me, that's basically the same thing. Um, as far as the benefits for the coconut and shea oils, it states that it creates soft wraps, defines curls, tame frizzes, frizz for all hair types. For the milk honey, medium hold for soft curls, defined curls, adds body and shine, no alcohol. That is different from, let me look at the ingredients. Um, well, at least no alcohol is listed on this particular container. So now let's look at the ingredients and I will be having everything listed below in the description box. I'm just gonna do a comparison. For the first ingredient, both is water. Second, both is uh, cocoa myodopropyl betanine. Third ingredient is the same, polyquatinine. Uh, oh, so the fourth ingredient differs. For the fourth ingredient, it is glycol for this one. The fourth ingredient for this one is chemo oil. Um, and then the ingredients differ. So overall, the first three ingredients are the same. And then after that, it switches up quite a bit. Um, they are both seven ounces. The instructions are probably the same because again, they both are a mousse. Um, I purchased this one through a like a beauty, houseofbeauty.com is what it was. And it was on sale. I will have the price in the description box. But if I could tell you off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure this one was cheaper. I purchased this through walmart.com less than four bucks or maybe it was like four dollars some change not that at all um of course this one is blue and this one is like a yellow honey color i think that i'm trying to look at the consistency y'all i feel like this one is just a tad bit thicker just a tad bit not a lot okay so i washed my hair yesterday it is still damp in some areas what i'm going to be using i did apply a leave-in which was a jane carter curl smoothie but i didn't use a lot so i'm going to be using the miel twisting souffle of course my hair oil now today it's early y'all i'm unraveling tomorrow but it's like eight o'clock in the morning so i'm hoping that my hair will dry but i don't trust my hair and i don't trust all this density so i have my nifty cap here basically a heat cap that i attach to my blow dryer i'm gonna sit under that off and on throughout the day um sleep in the perm rods overnight and hopefully they will come out looking okay now i know a lot of you have never used perm rods um you're like girl what's the point um i love perm rod sets yes they are a pain to sleep in not as bad as bantu knots Anyway, um, there are several ways you can set a perm rod and you will get a different look. You can roll it up, um, you can spiral to get a corkscrew, um, you can even, and, and of course if you have your hair blown, blown out or wet versus dry, you're gonna get, maybe get a different look, but mostly the length is gonna change um, in regards to whether or not you set it on blown out, dry, wet. Anyway, um, what I like to do is roll it up. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna roll it up. But I have done those other methods. So let's just go ahead and take down this mane. I'm looking like this, y'all, because I'm, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. So we're gonna do the coconut and shea oils on this side. And we're going to do the curl defining mousse on this side. My hair is split down the middle. I typically don't do that. I think I have a big, big ass head. I shouldn't say that. I think I have a fairly large head. So I don't like to wear my hair in the middle. I like to put it over here so your eyes can go over here and not look at all my big head. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I have not set my hair this wet in a while. Like, yeah, in years. Is that gray hair? I am getting so much gray hair. I, I really am. Okay, yeah, I don't trust my hair this wet. I don't trust it. 
because I I'm going to go put a blow dryer to each section, you guys. I hey, I'm being all right, y'all, that, look, that looks better than that. I could work with this now. This right here, real quick, is a Miel. I'm just gonna use a little bit. We're gonna do one pump. One pump, maybe two. Detangled. All right, and then we're gonna start. Hold this very taut. Roll her around once or twice. Roll her up, holding it tight. Here at the end, roll it around. Oh, hell. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there. Cause it is what it is, girl. All right, here we go. Girl, the title of this should be what not to do when doing a perm rod set. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga. Excuse the sun rays on here on the side, girl. Right off the bat, their milk and honey provides a stronger hold. This, this side is softer. Okay, all of the rollers are out. The Lotta Body Coconut um, and Shea Oils, of course there's hold, it's fluffy though. You see this side even? Um, the milk and honey side provides a sleeker look. It's a firmer hold, still bouncy. So let's unravel. I'm gonna use a little bit of oil. Ryan Little. <laughs> already you see here how this is sleeker more defined this is giving me a fuller look but yeah it's definitely a difference I'm gonna get me some more volume <laughs> yeah don't laugh I could technically do something like that that's adorable All right, you guys, so here is the final look. Very, very cute. I'm gonna turn to the side and to the back. Now, y'all, I don't do anything to preserve my styles because I only do my hair when I'm going somewhere and I work from home, so there's no need to have my hair looking great for days straight. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care, bye.